The Lord knows about everything. He knows the reason why you have been weeping. He knows the reason why you have been crying, dear child of God. And He's saying to you that you would have reasons to rejoice again. He's saying to you, according to His word, that weeping would only endure for the night, but your rejoicing will come, dear child of God. What has been the reason? Why have you been crying night and day? What has been the reason that you have been depressed and down, dear child of God? What have been that situation that you think is unsolvable? What is that thing that they told you there is no way out? I want you to know that there is a way out. And you will come into the season of your rejoicing. He says very clear that weeping may endure. They may stay, dear child of God. He says they may endure. Yes, you have been there. You have been in that situation. But it is not changing. It seems as if it is increasing. The more you keep having faith, the more you are trying to be strong in God, the more these things remain. Dear child of God, it will come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Though it tarries, but there will be a point that it would end. And that moment, your light will break forth in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, it has been said that Many times when the day is about to break, that is when it seems as though darkness increases. Dear child of God, that is when it seems as though the thickness of the night is even more visible. Sometimes I want you to know that when it seems like that situation that has caused you to weep, that has caused you to be in pain is increasing, I want you to know that that moment it just may be going. Yes, that moment when it seems like it is increasing, like it is growing. Dear child of God, I want you to know that it is already parting ways with you. And you will discover that your joy will come. It says your rejoicing would come in the morning. Dear child of God, you may have labored night and day. You see, at a point in time in the life of Peter, he was in pains, he was sorrowing, he was sad, he was unhappy because he had labored. He had told all night and he caught nothing. And that was when Jesus showed up. Jesus showed up and everything turned around. That very instant, dear child of God, you see, he had labored. Nothing was there to show for it. You have labored many times and you have seen nothing to show for it. And that is the reason you have been crying night and day. That is the reason that it seems like you are in the night season of your life, you see. That time will come when you will look for that situation and you will not find it anymore because God have dealt with every one of them. You see, he says, now he left speaking. He said unto Simon, launch out into the deep. God is saying, it is time to launch out because I'm bringing brightness again. I will cause you to rejoice. I will change everything. I will cause you to have reasons to dance again. Dear child of God, you have locked yourself up for a long time. You have hidden yourself from people. You have become a shadow of yourself because of the situation. You don't want to hang out with people again because you are sad, because you are down, because it seems as if everybody is moving ahead. Everybody else is moving forward, but you are not moving forward. Dear child of God, the Lord knows about it. The Lord knows about it and is saying your joy will come. Yes, it would wipe your tears away. Dear child of God, the Lord God of heaven would wipe every tears of your eyes. He knows about everything that caused you to sorrow. He knows about everything that made you to cry. Yes, maybe you had experienced some losses. Maybe some people walked away from you. Maybe you were deceived. Maybe you were jilted. Maybe you have labored and labored and there have been nothing to show for it. You see, God is not unrighteous. So he said, he said he is not unrighteous to forget your labors. He knows about your labors of love as well. He knows about your commitment. He knows about your devotion. And he knows about your labors of love. And he would make sure. He would make sure he would do something exciting in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord has sworn to bless you, dear child of God. He had sworn to do something in your life. That will cause you to rejoice. He knows about all the things you labored for. And he's saying to you, he will restore. He will restore that which you labored for. You see, God wants you to know that he will restore everything that you have labored for. Job labored. Job served. 
Job was a man of integrity, dear child of God. But he found himself in that place that he was weeping, dear child of God. Job was weeping. He was in the night season of his life. Job was in pain. Job was sorrowing. Job was in tears. But that time came when God remembered his labors. Dear child of God, God will remember your labors. And for everything that you have done, for everything, dear child of God, that you have done, for your service, for your commitment, God will do something that will cause you to rejoice. He said he will restore that for which he labored. Job 20 verse 18. And God did exactly that. Everything he labored for, God caused it to show up. God made sure his life experienced a turnaround. Dear child of God, he didn't cry again. God wiped the tears of his eyes. God will wipe the tears of your eyes. He will change everything. He knows about it. He knows about all the things that you have dealt with. He knows what you suffered. In the hands of the people you had loved, dear child of God. People who turned their backs from you. People you have uplifted, people you had helped. Yes, they came hating on you. God knows about it. They came around you and made you to suffer. God knows about it. He knows about the pains. He knows about the sorrows. He knows about the afflictions. And he's saying to you, my child, I'm going to do it. I'm going to deal with everything that ought to be dealt with. And you'll see a change in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, it will cause your joy to be full. Dear child of God, God will do it. Because he knows that you deserve to be happy. Yes, you also know it that you deserve to be happy. And this is why you don't understand why the situation has been the way it is. You do not understand why you have not been moving forward. Dear child of God, you do not understand why you have been in pain. You do not understand why you have been sorrowing. Dear child of God, you cannot even explain it. But God is saying, your weeping may have endured, but your joy is coming. I will do it. And your mouth will be filled with praises in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, he knows everything that made you to be heavy laden. He knows everything that brought you down. He knows those weight that you have been carrying. He knows how you have been dealing with that sickness. He knows how you want a change. He knows how you have been expecting a change in the life of your children, in the lives of those that you have labored for. He knows how you have been praying to God and saying, Father, please come and do something. I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of sorrowing. I'm tired of weeping. Dear child of God, God will show up. He will show up just in time and He will brighten your world in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, the Lord God of heaven, the God that you serve, He would brighten your world in the mighty name of Jesus. And it will cause you to rejoice in Jesus' mighty name. You would enjoy the blessings of God. You would reap, dear child of God, from all the places you have sown, you would reap the harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. The things that God would use to honor you when He does it, dear child of God. It will be so amazing, dear child of God. I want you to know that. It will be a shock to you in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, you know that Joseph sorrowed. At a point in time, he was in pain. But when God decided to bring him to the rejoicing of his mourning, everything, everything was beyond his imagination. This is how God will do for you in Jesus' mighty name. If God could wipe the tears of Naomi, if God could wipe the tears of Ruth, dear child of God, God would wipe your tears in Jesus' mighty name. If God could wipe the tears of Sarah, dear child of God, God will wipe your tears in Jesus' mighty name. If God could change the story of Peter, God would change your story for the best. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will see reasons to rejoice again. You will find bountiful reasons to be excited again. You will be glad in the name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you will be glad in Jesus' mighty name. God never fails. God doesn't disappoint and it will not begin with you. 
in Jesus mighty name. Please hold on to him. Trust him with your life. Trust him with the whole of your heart. And I want to assure you, he will do something amazing in your life that will cause you to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.